All right, welcome back to this NBA 2K23 my career. Now, last episode, you already know I shot career lows from the three-point line, so I've actually made changes to my jump shot. It is much slower now because my main issue is I am it, it was too fast and I was always shooting late. I also made some changes to the starting lineup as we have Marquise Chris playing the power forward and Jabari Smith is playing the center position. We moved Kevin Porter Jr. to the small forward. And yeah, that I mean, we are the worst rebounding team in the league, and nothing lineup wise is going to change that. So we got to deal with what we got to deal with. And I guess they have Matras Harrell and Jabari Smith. They did the same thing when I was playing the Heat. They for some reason had the power forward um, guarding Jabari Smith and the center guarding Marquise Chris. I don't know why they do that, but I mean, I'm not complaining, I guess. But we're going up against James Harden, who just threw that down. Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm not sure if I played them yet this year. As I'm going right by James Harden and Embiid's going to foul me. And when I was playing on my own, I think I was facing the Heat. Uh, I did get my first career triple-double. You guys won't see that because it was a very, very rough game to watch. And very, very rough game to play. But I did have my first ever career triple-double. Embiid, fade away, it's off. I Since we really have no rebounding, I've been picking up the slack rebounding. I'm averaging at least like eight rebounds over my past few games. And time to test out the new jump. You're, you're for real. You're for. What am I supposed to do then? I'm just not going to take threes. I just won't take threes no more. I made a three point shooting, a three level scorer. I sure just made a slasher. Why did I make a three point scoring player? Embiid kicks it out to Harden. I don't understand why I picked a shooting build. I really shouldn't have. That was the biggest mistake of my life. Tyrese Maxey, there's no way he's hitting this. Yep, and we got the rebound. Surprise, surprise. Jalen Green, right to the paint. Throw it down. 6-2 to two lead. And Embiid is going to pick up his quick second foul as we have a 11-2 lead. Make that a 12-2 lead. Embiid's going to have to go to the bench. They bring in, who the hell is number 23? That, that's Javante Green? No, it's Charles Bassey. Wow, I was tripping. So they have to bring in Charles Bassey into the game as the Sixers are going to take a timeout as they go down 11 in the first quarter quickly as the Houston Rockets are doing good. I don't know. Boy, oh boy, are we on a run up by 13 now. Against the 76ers, 9.2 rebounds, 4 assists for Gerald Johnson. They did bring in Paul Reed for Joel Embiid as I'm going to grab another rebound on the fast break. Kick it out to Jalen Green. Can he continue the run? Yes, he can. 20-4 lead for the Houston Rockets. Jalen Green knocking down that 3 up by 16. James Harden kicks it out to Tyrese Maxey. They are completely lost without Embiid in the game. Matisse Thibel, you can have all the room in the world. He's going to cut to the paint. He's going to kick it, throw up the layup, and it's off. Marquise Chris, I'm down court, and I'm going to lay it up. 18-point lead for the Houston Rockets, dominating this first quarter so far. The Sixers have Alex Caruso? How the hell did they pull that off? That's a huge pickup for them as they get the layup. I thought that was Spencer Dinwiddie. No, that's the Anthony Melton. I was about to say, ain't no way they got Dinwiddie too. Caruso's a huge pickup for the 76ers. Ain't gonna help them from Gerald. Jo how? 2K, explain to me how. I have my takeover and that's a... I'm starting to think it's not even a jump shot at this point. It's just 2K and they're shooting. I can't imagine what Hall of Fame is like. This team has Goran Dragic too. Bro, what? This is... Uh, well-made team, well-built team. Embiid with the fade. And yeah, figures it goes in. Figures. He's one of those players that 2K just loves. Especially he's he's going to do the post-fade every every time. I already know it. Let's see if I can make it. Wow, I actually made it, 2K. Thank you for contributing to my uh takeover. Thank you for actually letting it work. I already currently have 16, 5, and 7 on the day. <laughs> those are all-star numbers, too. It's the best part. Tyrese Maxey. I got there just in time with Jabari Smith Jr. I'm going to be guarded in bead. I'm going to be guarded in bead. 
Now I'm guarding Drogic. Who pump? Okay, you know what? That was a smooth pump fake. I was not expecting that, Drogic. Good on you. As we're going to lose our team takeover here. Very expected. That, that was a really good pump fake, Drogic. I don't know how I didn't expect that. Wide open. Please be a green. It is. Thank you, 2K. About damn time. Oh, on the fast break. Give it to me. Mm, okay, that's on Mantra. He already has three fouls. I kind of wish that was Embiid, though. And I kind of wish I put him on a poster, but I did not. That could be the thumbnail. Five seconds left on the shot clock for Shake Milton. And can he get a shot off? He does, but it's off. And we don't get the rebound. I think we've been winning the rebounding battle today, too, which kind of sucks. James Harden almost had a wide open layup there. I kind of got stuck. He's going to have the ball for the rest of the shot clock. He's going to take a bad shot. I already know it. It's off. And we get the rebound. Thankfully, I'm going to cut back door. Cutting back door. Throw it down. 21-point lead for the Houston Rockets. Gerald Johnson, 23 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists. Flirting with his second career triple-double. Can it be done? Tyrese Maxey is going to take the layup over Jalen Green, and it's blocked on the fast break. Kick it back. Jabari Smith, shoot it. You're open. It's good. We're firing on all cylinders. 24-point lead over the powerhouse Sixers. Did not expect that, and they need a timeout. So far, this experiment with this starting lineup is going wonderful. I don't want to jinx myself, but 26-point lead on the Sixers. My thoughts with this lineup was that Embiid's going to take another fade away, and he misses. I get my seventh rebound. My thought was, all right, if we can't beat them, I mean, on the rebounds or in the paint, let's just have a bunch of scorers in the game. That, that was my thought, and clearly against the Sixers, it's working out. We're about to be up by 30 on Superstar difficulty. I know it's not Hall of Fame, but I don't feel like ripping my hair out. Uh, but it's, this lineup is working wonders right now with KPJ. Sure, we limit, you know, we risk the defense and clearly the rebounding. But, I mean, we, we got to beat them on offense. We're going the Rockets way with the small ball. Just like Harden and Chris Paul, we got Jalen Green and myself. It's the only... It's the only way I can think that would work. It's the only way. As I I was trying to have Embiid draw his third foul, but I just drove right by him for my 25th point of the day. Uh, well, they got, they're going to put Embiid in the post. E yes, sir, they are. As I'm trying to anticipate a steal here or anticipate a pass. Or Androjic, get out to Embiid in the corner. That's going to hit, isn't it? Yes, it does. Sixers cut it to 28. Yeah, you're still getting blown the hell out, but you cut it to 28 at least. Jalen Green comes at me the screen. Come turn over the ball. That should not be a turnover on me if Jalen Green had the ball. Like, that doesn't make any sense on why that's a turnover on me. If he clearly turned the ball over and not myself. Orange draw. Why'd you... For a Kenyon, I had a steal there. Why'd you reach in? It's like 2K knows something good is about to happen for you, and they just say, nah. You know what? If we can ruin this in any way possible, we will. 10 seconds left. They're just going to dribble out the clock, try and get the last shot of the half down by 28. They'd even crack. Well, they might crack 30 points now. I'm going to double team and B. There ain't no way he's making that. They did not even crack 30 points in the first half. 57 to 29. Dominating first two quarters of basketball for the Houston Rockets. Also, 2K, can we do something about these injuries? What is this? Bane, torn Achilles. Bam, out six to eight weeks. Trey Young, out one to two weeks. Russell's out four to six weeks. Tobias Harris is hurt, and I didn't see who was at the bottom. Might be like Jalen Brown, for all I know. Like, what is going on with these injuries in my career? Like, I was going to record the Cavs game, and Garland was hurt. I was going to record the Heat game. Bam's hurt. Like, every game I want to record against a good team... The star player or very, you know, or starter is hurt. The only team that, that hasn't happened is the Sixers team right now. And we're blowing them out of the water. Currently have a 30-point lead with four minutes left in the third quarter. I have no stamina left. So that's awesome. But I'm forced to stay in the game because of the takeover. Sengun is going to get blocked. Our ball. I have yet to do anything with this team takeover so far. It's about to be over. Uh, Right here. Right here, that's an easy bucket for Gerald Johnson. That's 29 points, 32-point lead. This game is 
over. I mean, I think it was over at halftime. Now we're just stat padding. 15 assists, 29 points, 8 rebounds. I'm looking for that triple-double. Not going to lie. I'm kind of triple-double hunting. Stat padding a little bit. Can I get it? We'll see. Because right now we have Sangoon in the game, who is 7 foot and can 100% grab rebounds, unlike everyone else, as he fouls. I, I really hope I get some sort of rest here. That could... Nope, it's not my triple though. I really hope I get benched here because I played that whole third quarter with low stamina. Because for some reason, they don't like to bench me. Understandable because we'd probably be lost without me. But please, okay, thank God I get some sort of rest. We're up by 20, guys. There, there's no reason... Why'd you guys sub me in so, with so much time left? There's really no reason for me to be playing right now. Up by 19 points. With six minutes left. Yeah, sure, there's a chance they come back. But I don't think that's going to happen. Kevin Porter Jr., easy layup. Now back up by 21. That's it, we're going to win. Even though I, I still can't shoot any threes. I'm out of stamina anyways. I love how I have the on-court coach badge to tell people to shoot and they still don't shoot. Uh, and whatever, whatever badge, whatever I unlocked, I'm allowed to, I can tell people to shoot and they still don't listen to me. I find that amazing to me. Whatever the case is. Embiid, 8 for 21, only 18 points. Melton was their, basically their best player. And I clamped up hard. And 5 points, 2 for 15. The big three balled out. Everyone else didn't do much besides Marquise Chris did his job with 12 rebounds. I'm just pissed the hell off about this these threes. If I, if I didn't attempt a single three this game, I would have went 7 for... What is that? 7 for 8 on the day if I didn't attempt a three. I'm just, I need to just stop shooting threes. Fourth quarter, I was 0 for 4 from the field. I didn't make one because I attempted only threes. Second half, I was god-awful. 0 for 5 from downtown. I'm just going to stop attempting threes. If I make one three, I, I should limit myself to two threes a game if I make one. If I make that first one. If I don't make that first one, don't even attempt them anymore. It's useless. Where are the cases? GG.